All right, news in the NBA. Rajon Rondo, the Los Angeles Clippers, those two are up together. So the Clippers, they have a lot of loaded trouble right now. The media has pretty much been proclaiming that the Clippers have just been toxic. Kawhi's not a true leader. Paul George is worthless and of shambles when it comes to in the playoffs. That was a terrible trade for trading Paul George and yada, yada, yada for all those first round picks. They don't have a true point guard and Doc Rivers needs to go. So all this explosion of the Clippers has been going around for the last month ever since they lost in the second round and blew a 3-1 series lead to the young puppies of the Denver Nuggets. Um, questions of Kawhi Leonard were pretty much being thrown around um, a lot. So basically the Clippers, they made some changes. Um, number one, Doc Rivers, their head coach, was gone with. They actually moved up the assistant coach, Tyron Lue, to the head coach position. And again, same same situation happened with Ty Lue in 2016. The Cleveland Cavaliers head coach, David Blatt, was fired mid-season. And then they let their assistant coach, Ty Lue, to become the first-time head coach in his career and won the chip for the Cleveland Cavaliers. So he's dealt with different amount of personalities of LeBron James, Kyrie, and the crew. That's what they're hoping for for the Clippers and for their franchise. Now, they've always been kind of stating they've been lacking a true point guard on their team. Um, Kawhi Leonard stated that as well as they need a true leader to be spoken with. So the name has been for Rajon Rondo, who just won the 2020 NBA Championship with LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and the Los Angeles Lakers. And Rajon Rondo is pretty much the third best player and most impactful player for the Lakers um, in the playoffs and in the finals. So when it comes to Rajon Rondo, he pretty much is getting paid around $5 million a year. Now his contract is expired. Of course, he's going to be an unrestricted free agent entering 34 years of age and going around into his 15th and 16th season in the NBA. So if you're the Clippers right now, you want to get someone who has high impact and pretty much you don't have to pay a lot of money for. It. So basically, if you're looking at the point guards, Rajon Rondo is number one on the list because he's won two championships. He's been an impact player. And let alone, he's a leader. He's outspoken. And that's what the chemistry-wise for the Clippers, they think they need in their locker room. So that's the ideal fit. Um, basically, for Jean Rondo, you're looking at two different things right here. Rondo's always stated he's always wanted to play in L.A. earlier in his career, let alone when he was on the Dallas Mavericks, and then kind of getting moved around back and forth. So perfectly, he went to the Lakers. He loves L.A. He played with LeBron James AD, won a championship. So he's chilling right now. Um, basically, the only reason why Rajon Rondo would leave the Lakers to go to the Clippers is basically, let's just be real, money. The Lakers are pretty much going to offer Rajon Rondo probably like $5 million on a probably a one-year contract um, since he is getting up there in age. I think the Clippers are probably going to throw around 8 to $10 million. It looks like they're going to be that desperate to bring him in. So if you're Rondo, you could go to the Clippers pretty much the visiting team next door you would take on the starting point guard role so more responsibilities more minutes being played and with him being 34 years of age and where he's at in his career does he really want to take on that quote-unquote challenge does he want to go through possible toxicity and chemistry issues for a team i personally for rondo i think he would not take that on i think he's fine being comfortable with the lakers i think he can get more endorsement deals let alone with the Los Angeles Lakers. You got LeBron James, who always will hook you up. And when you got LeBron in AD and you just won the chip, they're going to be favorites next season to win the championship. The chemistry has been amazing and beautiful for the Los Angeles Lakers for this season, uh, including when you brought in Dwight Howard, you got J.R. Smith. There's questions, but everyone else has stepped up to the plate. So Rajon Rondo is very comfortable where he's at, um, winning a championship and most likely going to win back to back. And he's going to play a huge role again. Uh, personally for Rondo, I think he's not really going to consider too much for the Clippers. Unless, again, if they're gonna, if the Clippers are going to throw a max amount of money, then that, that's going to be different if the Lakers can't match. Um, but overall, I'm leaning 80% for the Lakers for him to re-sign for the team. I would say 20% for the Clippers. I think if you're the Los Angeles Clippers, if you don't get Rajon Rondo, I think another ideal point guard who is going to be an unrestricted free agent would be DJ Augustine. I think he would fit perfectly well alongside with a Kawhi Leonard type team. And with DJ Augustine, it's about time he played for a, con a contender. Um, he's never really played on a contender, but uh, I mean, he has the attributes. He has the 
the ability to pretty much you know transition very smoothly and well so the clippers have a lot of problems they need to bring in a five they need a point guard now the clippers could look to bring in a quote unquote third star or to make some possible trades um if you really want to get desperate you could bring in a chris paul via a trade you would have to let go of your bench and retool the team with veteran minimum type players i don't think the clippers are that desperate as of yet um, when it comes to any other third stars there's really no one else that they can get because again the clippers trade away five first round picks for paul george so you're pretty much stuck into free agency and this 2020 free agency class is very whack anthony davis was the only star that was being highlighted he verbally committed back to the lakers andre drummond just re-signed a one-year deal of opting in with the cleveland cavaliers so basically you only got the demar DeRozans of the world the sergi bacas galinari's um, and such on and such forth so for the clippers they're pretty much going to have to fill in small players and small pieces so number one you got to get ronda or dj augustine you got to move patrick beverly to the bench like a marcus smart six-man type role well, actually, my bad. You got you got Lou Will and you got Montrezl Harrell. So Patrick Bailey to be like an eighth man type role. Um, you got to bring in a point guard, and you could move Patrick Beverly to the two. You could have Kawhi and Paul George at the three and four, and then at the five, I think they need to let go of Zubac. And when I say let go of Zubac, you can either make a trade for a bigger name, you can put him off the bench, which is ideal. I think if they can sign a Sergi Bach on free agency, put him at your five. I think that that meshes more well. Zubak has a lot of potential. He's a great young player, 23 years of age, but I don't see him being your starter to win a championship. I, I just don't see it. I don't like the fit. Uh, coming off the bench, of course, give him those 20 minutes a night. But I think Serge Ibaka at the five. But with Jean Rondo right now, I think LA Lakers, he's going to re-sign. It's not really too much to think into. The Clippers are kind of desperate as of right now, but that's still a good pick for them to prioritize getting Rajon Rondo. So we'll see what happens a little more. I think what... This is a huge barrier is the Lakers, if they make a trade for Bradley Beal or Chris Paul, then I think most likely Rajon Rondo, um, you know, would take on that challenge to go to the Clippers and get paid more. We'll see. We'll see what happens a little more into here, but we'll kind of cover a little more into any more trades and free agency.